So research, honestly, you end up taking HDFS 290 anyway, which is research methods, which kind of gives you a little taste of what research is like in HDFS and at the University of Illinois. Uh, you end up in the child uh, development lab. It's a really great experience. Um, but additionally, I went ahead and went to the heart lab with Dr. Rogolsky and it was such a great experience and so fascinating to me about relationship science that I felt like that was the place for me to kind of explore research. And once I got into it, it Dr. Rogolsky like creates an environment that is so awesome and so interesting and really presents some of this in-depth relationship science stuff that's like a vital part of everything that we do in our lives anyway. And so I felt like that was probably the best place to explore just human development. An example of a research project that I participated in with HDFS is research um, that an HDFS graduate student did on LGBTQ plus women and their experiences in Panhellenic sororities. I've been involved in the healthy experiences across relationship transitions lab with Dr. Ogolski since my freshman year. I've had the honor of conducting my own research project and presenting at the undergraduate research symposium. And I did my project on the relationships between social media behaviors, personality, and perceived desirability of potential partners. And I plan to present this at the International Association for Relationship Research Conference in London for the summer of 2020. But unfortunately that was canceled due to COVID, but I was still really grateful for the experiences that I had um, in my lab and at the research symposium.